this is Ethan Xiao with the St. Nick's School Asian Affinity Group. I am here with my mom, and we are making baozi, which is uh, a pretty famous Chinese dish, I would say. It's uh, ground beef baozi. The thing that we're doing, or my mom's doing, is she is rolling out the dough and putting it in flour. Then she's making it into little circles, and that's the dough right there. Um, she's cutting them into smaller pieces, rolling them into circles that we can later put the ground beef in, which is right there, onto them. And then, like she's rolling them out right now, we can put the ground beef onto the middle and then we can pinch them over to make the classic baozi shape. We are using carrots, um, garlic, and lettuce, celery, uh, and beef, but there can be vegetarian options as well. You can use a variety of different ingredients. Um, Pretty much anything you want, just try it out, I guess. But so right now we are about to fry the baozi, and that becomes shenzhen bao. So we have um, the pan with oil, and then we are uh, boiling water right now. Um, then we're just placing the baozi onto there, and I believe we just take the lid and cover it, and they will expand eventually, and it becomes very good with the crispy bottom, and it's. Definitely my favorite over steamed ones. And I guess it's a lot of America's favorite as well. Right now the oil is crinkling. The bottom of the baozi, you don't really want to get anything else besides the bottom. Um, otherwise it ruins the baozi. So really you just want to fry the bottom and keep everything else intact. You have hot water and then you want to pour it in. And really quickly you want to yeah, you want to cover it up, and that essentially steams it, oh no, and it keeps it really tasty, like that, and keeps the juices inside as well. Uh, near the end, my mom also put sesame and scallion on it to give some flavor. Final products, this one is the steamed one, it's, there's no, there's nothing on the bottom, it's not crispy. This is the fried one, and it is fairly crispy on the bottom. This one has scallion and sesame. This one really has nothing, but you can put sauces on either of them. I prefer hot sauce. You can really use them with anything. I do not find ketchup to be uh, a good ingredient with this, but you know, you do you. Thank you all for listening. That's how you make baozi. I actually got hungry and ate both of them, which is, they're really good. So I recommend trying them out. Um, thank you.